Hello everyone, welcome to Guasmer Language School. My name is Jasser Guasmer and I will be your English teacher in today's class. For today's lesson, we are going to learn about past perfect, reading comprehension, vocabulary, verbs, and we have talk time. And let's begin first of all with the past perfect. Here we have the past perfect tense, also called pluriperfect. It's a verb tense used to talk about actions that were completed before some point in the past. Entonces, el pasado perfecto, vamos a utilizarlo cuando queremos hablar sobre acciones que fueron completadas en el pasado, en un punto en el pasado. Examples. We were shocked to discover that someone had graffiti. Well, graffiti totals was here. On our front door, we were relieved that totals had used washable paint. Had used, had gratified. The past perfect tense is to talk about something that happened before something else. Is to talk about something that happened before something else. Imagine you waking up one morning and stepping out to grab the newspaper on your way back in. You notice a mysterious message scrattled across your front door. Total was here. When you're telling this story to your friend later, how would you describe this moment? You might say like, I turned back to the house and I saw that someone named Total had defaced my front door. ¿Cuál es la fórmula? ¿Cuál es la estructura. Bueno, vamos a poner entonces primero el sujeto had past participle y después acá el predicado, obviamente. It doesn't matter if the subject is singular or plural. No importa si el sujeto es singular o plural. We're going to use had. Siempre. We use had and then the past participle. ¿Cuándo lo vamos a utilizar y cuál es la diferencia entre el pasado perfecto y el pasado simple? Ok, so what's the difference between the past perfect and simple past? When you're talking about some point in the past and want to reference an event that happened earlier, using the past perfect allows you to convey the sequence of the events. It also clear and more specific. Let's consider the difference between these two sentences. Maripaz, can you read those two examples, please? Yes, teacher. We were relieved that those totals use washable paint. We were relieved that totals has had used Washable pain. Again, washable pain. So it's a sus subtitle difference. It's a subtitle difference, but the first sentence doesn't tie Total's act of using washable pain to an any particular moment in time. Readers might interpret it as we were relieved that Total's was in a habit of using washable paint. The second sentence, the past perfect makes it clear that you're talking about a specific instance of using washable paint. Another time to use the past perfect is when you are expressing condition and result. When we are expressing conditions and result. Examples, uh, Brandon, you read this example. 
If I had woken early this morning, I would have cow turtles red hand, head. Handed. Handed. Bien. The past perfect is used in the part of the sentence that explains the condition. El pasado perfecto es utilizado en la parte de la oración que explica la condición. The if clause o que habíamos aprendido anteriormente. Most often, the reason to write a verb uh, in the past perfect tense is to show that it happened before other actions in the same sentence and are described by verbs in simple past tense. Writing an entire paragraph with every verb in past perfect is unusual. Entonces, vamos a utilizar el pasado perfecto para describir una acción que terminó antes de que sucediera otra. Prácticamente, el pasado perfecto es cuando utilizamos había. Había, yo había estudiado, yo había limpiado, ella había, nosotros habíamos. So we use had. Y después utilizamos el verbo en su tercera forma, que es la forma participio. Vamos a ir leyendo cada uno de estos cuadritos que están acá. Maripaz, usted empieza leyendo when not to use the past perfect. Todo esto, please. Ok, teacher. Um, don't use the past perfect when you are not trying to combine some sequence of event if your friends ask what you did after you discover the graffiti they will be confused if you said i had cleaned in off the door they didn't uh, likely be wondering what happened next because Using the past perfect implies that your action of cleaning the door occurred before something else happened, but you don't say what that something else is. The something else doesn't always have to explicitly mentioned, but context needed context need sorry to make it clear. In this case, they're not context. So the past perfect doesn't make sense. Muy bien. So, occur. Occur. Explicitly, explicitly. Occur, explicitly. Occur, explicitly. Muy bien. We convey, convey. Convey. Okay. Muy bien. How to make the past perfect negative, Brandon? Making the past perfect negative is simple. Just insert not between had uh, and past participle. Uh, we look the witnesses, witnesses, but the neighbors had not seen totals in the act. If totals had not included his own, own name in the message, we will have no idea who has who was behind it. Muy bien. We look for oh, witnesses. Me, for witnesses. Oh, excuse Ahí me. Ahí lo cambió. Y también acá en pasado dijimos included. Included. Muy bien. Included. Pretty good. Thank you. Alguien más que quiera leer. Eh, bueno, Andrew. Aquí donde dice how to ask a question. ¿Puedes leerlo? Ok. Um, for asking a question in the past perfect tense is at plus subject plus asked participle participle had to, to, to cause trouble in other neighborhoods neighborhoods Before, uh, before he skipped hours. 
Muy bien. So, para hacer la pregunta ponemos el hack de primero. Cuando es negativo ponemos el not. Common regular verbs in the past perfect tense. To ask, had asked, had not asked. To work, had worked, had not worked. To call, had called, had not called. To use, had used, had not used. Acá tenemos common irregular verbs in the past perfect tense. To be, had been, had not been. To have, have had, have not had. To do, had done, had not done. To say, had say, had not say. To get, had gotten, had not gotten. To make, had made, had not made. And then we continue, go, take, see, come. Gone, taken, seen, come. Gone, taken, seen, come. But we use had, 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 had not, had not, had not. So the past participle of to get is gotten. But in British is got. Entonces, si ven por ahí, gotten es lo mismo que get, pero en pasado participio, en inglés americano. Pero en inglés británico, el pasado participio es got. Questions about past participle. Hello, Coco. How are you? Hello. <laughs> This is Marjorie. Uh, Marjorie. Yes, how are you? fine. Thank you. Is it is because it's my son's computer, so I don't know how to change. Uh, uh, I got it. Don't worry. I changed the name for you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> We are going to read right now. We have a reading comprehension. And we are going to read together. So who wants to read from after, after rules? Me, teacher. Okay, go on. After this, Jesus and his discipline went to the country place in Judea. Judea. Jesus stayed there with his discipline for some time, and they baptized people there. John was also baptizing people. He was at a place called Aenon, near Salim, because there was a lot of water there. People were coming to him and John was bap baptizing them. This happened before the rulers put John in a prison. John's discipline be began to argue with a certain J about some Jeeves rules. Muy bien. Vamos a decir disciples. Disciples. Judea. Judea. Baptizing. Baptizing. Enon. Enon. Happened. Happened. Jew. Jew. Jewish. Jewish. Muy bien. Who wants to continue con la parte celestita? I can read. Okay, go on. I, I don't know if you can hear me well because I don't have headphones. And... No worries, I can hear you, okay? Okay. Those rules told 
people how they should wash properly. The disciples then came to John. They said to him, Teacher, remember the, the man, Jesus, that you spoke, spoke to us about? He was with you on the other side of the Jordan River. Now he's by, 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 by baptizing people and everyone is going to him. John replied, a man can receive only what God gives to him, not nothing else. You yourself will remember that I said, I am not a Mashiach, but God sent me to prepare things for the Mashiach. When a man marries a wife, she belongs to him. The man's special friend listens carefully. He wants to know when the man will come with his wife. That friend is very happy when he hears the man's voice. Um, okay, that's it. Uh, very good. Messiah. Messiah. Ah, Messiah. Okay. Very good. Um, anybody else would like to finish? I will lie, sir. Okay. Let me one moment, sir, please. Uh, okay. I'm like that, friend. So I am completely happy now. Jesus must become greater, but I must become less important. Then the one who comes from above is greater. That all things, a person who comes from the herd belongs to the herd. Oh. Earth. Herd. Earth. Sin H. Earth. Earth. Uh-huh. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, from the her uh, uh, herd. No, belongs... sin J. Air. Solo E. Air. Okay, okay. Air. Belongs to the air. A person likes that speaks uh, speaks only about things that belongs to the air. But the one who comes from heaven are greater than all things. He tells people about the things that he has seen. He tells about what is has excuse me, what he has heard. But people do not do not believe his message. Anyone who doesn't believe, no, does believe his message, a grace that God is true. The one that God has sent speaks God's words. God had given his spirit uh, to fill that person completely. The father, the father loves, the father loves the son. He has give, uh, given his son authority over all things. Anyone who believes in the son has believed with God forever. But anyone who refuses to obey the son will never have lived with God. God will continue to be angry with people like that. Thank you. Uh, vamos a decir like that, exacto, como lo dijo al final, like that. Air. Okay. Air. Air. He has. He has. Completely. 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 Okay. Live. Live. Life. Live. Life. Refuses. Refuses. Muy bien. Vamos a ver un video. Dos minutos. Dura el video. Y continuamos con los verbos, vocabulario y expresiones. So just one second. Uh, teacher, uh, yes, 
Este, I'm, I'm afraid I have to leave. It, it is okay. Yes, that's okay. Voy a enviarles la grabación ahorita, después que terminamos. Perfecto, muchas gracias. Con gusto. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. After these things came Jesus and his disciples into the land of Judea, and there he tarried with them and baptized. And John also was baptizing in Anon, near to Salim, because there was much water there. And they came and were baptized, for John was not yet cast into prison. Then there arose a question between some of John's disciples and the Jews about purifying. And they came unto John and said unto him, Rabbi, he that was with thee beyond Jordan, to whom thou bearest witness, behold, the same baptizeth, and all men come to him. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing except it be given him from heaven. Ye yourselves bear me witness that I said, I am not the Christ, but that I am sent before him. He that hath the bride is the bridegroom. But the friend of the bridegroom, which standeth and heareth him, rejoiceth greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. This my joy therefore is fulfilled. He must increase, but I must decrease. He that cometh from above is above all. He that is of the earth is earthly and speaketh of the earth. He that cometh from heaven is above all. And what he has seen and heard, that he testifieth, and no man receiveth his testimony. He that hath received his testimony hath set to his seal that God is true. For he whom God hath sent speaketh the words of God, for God giveth not the Spirit by measure unto him. The Father loveth the Son, and hath given all things into his hand. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. Okay, so now we're going to continue with the verbs, vocabulary, expressions, and then we finish. We have here the verb to pass, pass, to accept, accepted, to produce, produce, to miss, miss, to manage, manage, to cut, to catch, caught, caught, to expire, expire, to inspect, inspected. Questions about those verbs? Do you know what is the what meaning is of miss? Miss, extrañar. Okay, okay, okay. Cat, teacher, or I don't know. Atrapar. Catch. Give me an example using catch. Atrapar, coger, agarrar, alcanzar. Por ejemplo, I'll show you how to catch fish. Te enseño cómo atrapar peces. I'll show you how to catch fish.
What about otra pregunta? ¿No tienen preguntas sobre los verbos? No, no. but I can to say I catch up I catch the ball when we went in the oh uh, when we went in the uh, file uh, how to say aire? Air. Air, yeah, excuse me, I forget it. I can to say this. I can to say this. No podemos decir I can to say this. Podemos decir can I say this? Okay, can I yeah. say this? Can I say this, sir? Yes, y nunca digas en can seguido del tú. Nunca puedes decir can tú, can tú, nunca. Es que, mira, es que se me pegó el tú, no sé por qué. Siempre cuando hablo se me pega el tú. Ok, antes de hablar, trate de recordar que el tú hace que nuestro verbo termine en ar, er, ir, o si no, es a, cuando está a la par de algún sustantivo. Si no, de lo contrario, lo estás usando solo por usar. Ya, yeah, pero, pero, digamos, cuando habla así, digamos, suelto al hablar, no sé eso, como que siempre pongo el tú. Yes, I know. Entonces, lo que le estoy diciendo es que no lo haga, que piense antes de hacerlo. <ríe> no, no, sí, sí, o sea, te entiendo, pero digamos, te estoy explicando el porqué. All right, so, tenemos vocabulary, bueno, tenemos acá unos ejemplos, Uh, los va a leer vamos a ver quiénes están conectados Marilyn, ah oh, no, ya se desconectó es cierto, Andrew, ¿los puede leer usted? Can you read them please? Ok, it was Jane who asked by us, was it you who was narrating the thing? It was she who suggested she, she a food Was it you who chose the dress? It wasn't he who thought to hear. It was he who did this. Wasn't it she who took you home? Was it she who got hurt in the rain? Muy bien. Este, it wasn't her, perdón, it wasn't he who talked to her. Muy bien. Tenemos acá un vocabulario, este... Maripaz, usted lo lee. Ok, teacher. Intersection, deal, crossroad, cashier, uphill, discount, downhill, ambitions, scene, opening, monument, anger, ending, ill, impression, illness, different, map, sale, Confident, salesman, helmet, airline, parachute, charnet, char, charter, army, room, bullet, navy, producer, smoking, air force, board, boarding, Non-smoking, custom, arrival, marines, delight, terminal, departure, strudel, gate, entrance, instructor, exit, court, aisles, and road. Muy bien. Vamos... A decir anger. Anger. Ill. Ill. Chatter. Chatter. Isle. Isle. Ok. Muy bien. Questions sobre el vocabulary. Sí. 
Cheshire. ¿Cuál? Eh, I think it's Cheshire, yeah. Esta, Cashier. Cashier, ok. Cajel. Ok, yeah, and this. Any other question? What, what is um, cashier? Cajero. Ah, okay, okay, sorry. La persona. Okay, 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 yeah. Oh, feel. You feel oh, awful. Um, Donde está? Uh, below the intersection. The first, yeah. Uphill, uphill. Up, uphill, okay. Uphill, cuesta arriba. Okay. Ascendente. Navi. Navy, Navy. 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 Bueno, podemos decir Navy, en realidad es Navy. Navy o Navy. Navy es marina, flota de guerra, marina de guerra, marino azul. Navy. Mm. Ok. Helmet. Casco. Mm. Anger o oh, anger, ya, yeah. no. Anger. Anger. Anger es como ira, enojo. Ok. Furia, coraje. Yeah, yeah, ok. No more questions? Mm, no, I think, no, I don't know. Okay, if you guys have any doubts about this vocabulary, lo pueden buscar también. Y ya para concluir, tenemos las expresiones que las va a leer Kevin. Hello, Kevin, how are you doing? I am fine, but I am... At the street, you know. Oh, okay. No worries. I will read it for you. Yo lo voy a leer. Tenemos room service, to book, out of one's mind, to feel sorry for, seat belt, fasting your fasting your seat belts, overhead compartment, it's on, it's off, no vacancy, under the name of the most connecting flight, get lost, vacant room, wake up call, front desk, to be charged, to run away, one way ticket, at least round ticket, pardon, round trip. Questions about the expressions that we have seen so far. What is one of one's mind? Out of one's mind is to be crazy. For example, he's out of his mind. He cannot control himself. It's to be crazy, so you're out of your mind. Sit bill. Sit bill. I think he's the burners. Sit belt. Sit belt. Okay. Cinturón de seguridad, digamos, en un carro. Seat belt. Fasten your seat belts. Abróchense en sus cinturones. Or 
overhead compartment, compartimiento superior, hablando de lo que sería en un avión, en un bus o algo así. Donde ponemos los bultos o las maletas arriba donde nos sentamos, overhead compartment. Any other question? Vacant room, wake up call, front desk, to be charged. What is wake up call, sir? Wake up wake call. Up, cuando, yeah. estamos en un, cuando estamos en un hotel y queremos que nos despierte el recepcionista en la mañana para poder agarrar, digamos, el avión. Podemos decir, I need, yo necesito a wake up call at 4 a.m. Imaginando que no tengo yo un celular o una alarma, entonces yo pido al recepcionista wake up call para que me levante. Wake up call. Ok, ok. All right, well, that's everything for today's class. We have learned about expressions, vocabulary, some examples, verbs. We read, well, we read the reading comprehension together and we reviewed as well the past perfect tense. Positive, how to use it, negative questions. And so far, pretty much that's today's topic. And I don't know if you have any other question, You can just let me know by WhatsApp and thank you guys for your time. Really hope you have a wonderful rest of the night and evening. Goodbye, guys. Have a good one. Thank you very Goodbye, much. Goodbye, sir. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Have a good one.